Hi, this is Chris. Today I'm going to tell you about creating an omnichannel service that sends push notifications to Android devices, phones or tablets. And this is a really important feature because it allows to update the user about changes on the server side even if he's, he doesn't have the app uh, open. Okay. To make push notifications work, you first need to enable the Google Cloud Messaging Service, the GCM, on your Google account, and then create a project number, which is the same as the sender ID to be used in your code. You also need to create an API key, and you can find more details on Android developer site. I have the link there down in the description. And those are the two first steps. With the sender ID, the app will request a registration ID for the device in step 3, and when it's returned in step 4, it's usually shared with an omnichannel service in step 5, to be used when sending push notifications. When something happens in the backend indicated by step 6, the server is either notified or has to pull the backend to get the changes, and sends a push notification message to the GCM in step 7. The GCM sends it to the device, which usually forwards it to the app in step 8, and the app then typically requests new information from the service in step 9. Let's have a look at the third and fourth step of this process. And this is the code in the app's, normally in the app's main activity, where the app get the GCM instance on line 1, and then request the registration ID on line 2. Please note that the app doesn't have to retrieve the registration ID on every launch, only one time for each update, so it can be saved between those updates. Okay, so now it's time to create a service that sends the push notification, and even if I'm using PHP here, the same functionality can be achieved on all major platforms, like those from IBM and Microsoft. And first I define a registration ID for for a device on line 3, the API key on line 4, and a test message on line 5. When the payload is created on line 6, as part of the data to post to the GCM on line 7, as well as the headers on line 8, the HTTP POST request context is created on line 9 and made on line 10, with the result shown on line 11. And to deploy this code to a cloud server, please see some of my previous videos where I show this in detail. And now let's get back to the app. And this is the code we need to add to show a notification uh, of the message in the app. And this requires two classes. The first one, GCM Broadcast Receiver, links to the second class and makes sure that the device doesn't go to sleep until the message is handled. The second class, GCM Intent Service, picks up the message on line 16, get the GCM instance on line 17, and if the message is not empty, which is checked on line 18, and the message is of the correct type, which is checked on line 19, a notification is created and sent on lines 22 to 27. So there you have it. An omnichannel service that sends push notifications to Android devices. Thank you.